guys, welcome to another episode of Create This Book. Last episode, I asked you to help me name the superhero that I drew, and I got so many suggestions from you guys. Y'all are so creative. But my favorite name by far was the name Prism. Oh, so perfect. Just, I love that name. And so I wrote it on the page, and that is her official superhero name now. A couple different people did suggest this name, but the first person to suggest this name was Hula Giraffe. Very interesting username, <laughs> but thank you so much for suggesting that. You rock and you are the winner of the contest. What's the prize? Honor. Honor and, yeah, just honor. Congratulations! <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the pages for today. All right, so the first page I'm gonna do is create a page from the past. Attach something from the past here. Photos, documents, old drawings, etc. So I decided to dig through some of my old artwork to find something to put on this page and I stumbled upon this little baby and as soon as I saw it, I just wanted to redraw it. So I did. It's a little cupcake drawing from 2010, so I was about 15 when I did this. And you know, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's it's got a great personality. <laughs> Let's say that much, okay? But you know, at this point, the only drawing that I did was really like abstract stuff like shapes and patterns and stuff like that I was really afraid of drawing anything representational because every time I tried I, I was not happy with the results and I felt bad but you know you should never just stop trying to draw I mean if you want to get better then you just need to practice and don't let yourself feel too bad about your drawing maybe in another seven years I'll redraw this cupcake that I'm drawing now and it'll be way better hopefully Okay, next is create a page of quotes. Fill this page with inspirational quotes. So as you can see, I'm using extra pieces of paper instead of painting right in the book because I wanted to use watercolor, but I didn't want it to bleed through. Okay, and on the bottom square of the right hand page, you will see a big misspelling. <laughs> it says, forget the mistake, remember the lesson, which is really ironic because I'm doing a quote about mistakes and then I make like a really embarrassing mistake. <laughs> Mistake. I literally started laughing when I saw that but I decided to make it like a quilt and I did the letters like they're supposed to be like stitched on there I looked on the Google and found all of these quotes and as soon as I saw one about rainbows obviously I had to use it and make a little rainbow square in there Just had to sneak that in Next is create an unusual combo. Think of an object. Draw it as if made out of an unusual material. Examples, a ceiling fan made out of donuts, a car made of flowers. Wow, those are so strange. What, how did I even think of those? I don't know. I usually just pull my ideas out of nowhere, but today I actually got inspiration from something very specific. I went to the beach recently and I got this teapot that I found in a thrift store and it's a strawberry themed teapot. I decided to draw a teapot made of strawberries and it's it's obviously very different from the teapot that I got but still that's where I got the idea from. I wrote strawberry teapot on there just because I feel like it's not obvious what it is. Yeah you might see it and just be like oh a blob of strawberries with Oh, mm, okay. I mean, I think whatever you do on this page is probably gonna be pretty unique and crazy looking, but that's kind of the point. Next is create a page for your favorite character. Choose one of your favorite cartoon characters. Draw him or her on this page. I decided to draw Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, obviously, and I don't know if he's my all-time favorite. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love him so much, but like, I don't know if I could choose a favorite, but I went with Stitch because I love him and 
Um, I did draw him in one of my old books. I guess this is the episode for improving my old artwork, I don't know. But I remembered that drawing and I was like, you know, I definitely rushed through that. I wasn't really happy with how it came out, so I wanted to redeem it. Also, I'm using this pattern in the background and in the heart, as you can see, which is the pattern from Lilo's dress. I thought that that would be cute to tie that in. I really love this page. I love Stitch. I wish I could adopt him. And we've got this page which is create without thinking do something to this page without thinking do it quickly do not plan no cheating I made sure not to break the rules for this I did not plan anything I just opened up the book and I kind of freaked out a little bit <laughs> <laughs> What have I done? I just started scribbling for no reason. I don't know, I wasn't thinking about it, so. And then I realized that my scribbles kind of looked like a bear, so I started turning it into a bear, and it turned into this weird, cool scribble bear. And I was prepared to hate this page because I, I knew that it was gonna be like unplanned and stuff like that, but I actually really like how this came out. It's so free and I don't know, I, I really like it. Um, but yeah, this was like the quickest page that I've made in a while. It did not take much time at all, but I didn't wanna keep on working at it and try to make it better or anything like that. I just, I kinda love it for its messiness, so I just kept it. Now it's time for me to show you guys some of the amazing artwork that has been sent to me from other people who are doing Create This Book. First I'm going to show you these pages from Team Crafts, that's their YouTube name, so please go check out their channel. These are some ideas that I've never seen before, so they're very creative and I really really love this twin page. Also these pages from Laura, and she has a YouTube channel as well called Laura Tappan. Look at these pages, such good ideas, oh my gosh, I love the amount of detail on this alien page. So so cool. Finally, these pages from Elissa. She has this like really cool watermelon theme going on through her book. She also used some of my ideas, which is totally fine. If you want to use my ideas, that's okay. Go for it. So great job on all of these pages. And let me tell you guys, I have gotten a lot of pictures, which I really appreciate, but don't feel bad if yours didn't make it into this video. There's still a chance that they'll make it into a future video. If you have a page that you would like to share with me, please go ahead and send it to my email. All right, so that is it. I will see you very soon. Bye.